Hello, I'm Kurt Dolan with Water Oats for Africa. We're here with our site inspection team high in the beautiful mountains of Cholo District. This is John Village. We're meeting with many of the families here. There's 30 or 40 families, six or seven kids per. So this borehole is a source of tremendous blessing here. I've been talking to many of them about the benefits of having this in only a month. This is brand new and we're dedicating it to two very special people, Zach and Tuesday Steel. Wonderful friends, wonderful uh, partners with Water Wells for Africa and supporters for a long time. So Zach and Tuesday, we want you to see the people you're helping. And we've been talking with the chair lady here. So we have a water committee formed here, which will oversee this. And some of these women, we have uh, six women, four, four men who are elected. So it's the first time women have been elected to a leadership position, which they're very proud. So Beatrice here has this beautiful hat. Thank you to the 99 cent store. Uh, has lived here her whole life, her parents, her grandparents before her for generations. And this is the first clean water they've ever had here accessible to them. Now, she used to work all day for a couple buckets, but now they can get six buckets a day and they can get it whenever they want. So I said, well, what do you do with all your spare time? So they told me that they start micro businesses, just small businesses. A bunch of ladies here, as you can see, and got some older ladies here. And they said, well, tell me about some of your businesses. So she makes donuts and sells them. Emily buys ground nuts and roasts them for sale. Where's Emily? There's Emily right there. She gets the ground nuts. Etta Wilson, where's Etta? Etta's in the back there. She will go to local farms, purchase tomatoes, and bring them back uh, for sale at the market. Then we have Caroline. Where's Caroline? There she is, way over there, Caroline. She actually hires local transport, which is a motorcycle. She'll travel an hour, buy charcoal, bring it back here and sell it in the local market. And she says, because of this borehole, she now has time to do this. And I said, well, how many women have started businesses? And a lot of them raised their hands and said, many, many women in the village will do that. So what we see sometimes here is water. What we don't realize is the economic economic development that happens as a result of this water. And not only for the men who now have time to garden and they feel better about the future, I was talking to some of the guys about that, but for women in general. So women have more time, they're more free, they can bathe, watch their children. They said our kids are going to school now because the girls used to be late fetching water. But they said, no, we'll get water, you go to school. So now more kids are going to school everybody's healthier, they're happier, and many women have started businesses, as I said. And then even for the guys, they have more family time. What we always find out sometimes, the dark underside of not having water is that women are gone for so long that men suspect them of extramarital affairs and sometimes would beat their wives. So again, we ask them, is there any more domestic violence? They say there's no more domestic violence. And I said, what about young girls? The trouble, dangers going to water. He said, yeah. The dangers of young girls going long distances to get water is over now because this is in the community. So there's so many things that are in a cup of water. Ah, Kukoma. You'll notice here we have some of the older citizens. Somebody finally older than me. Mary's 77, Beatrice is 80, and of course, we forget that there's elderly <laughs> and sometimes infirm people who live in a village, and as the struggle is increased for them, but these ladies were singing and rejoicing and thanking God that we have been able to provide this water. So Tuesday, Zach, we do want to God bless you. We want to thank you so much for partnering with Water Wells for Africa, believing what we do. We want you to see what this partnership has done, and this is gonna be a brighter future. They told me this themselves. The future is brighter because of this gift of life. So thank you guys so much.
Diga como? Uh!